ても無駄。Dude, what? I thought I'd make this video to give some more love to QQ. She's my favorite character in the game, and I'm planning on maxing her. Many of you are going to be pulling on the Witch's banner, so you'll get QQ <laughs> whether you like it or not. So if you're wondering how she performs, um, this can be a good indicator, I guess. You're seeing a pretty hyper carry style team using her. And she's especially great if you don't have a Sele or Jin Yuan. Right now she's E4. She gets a lot stronger at E6 with the enhanced basics actually giving you a skill point. So you can kind of tell how nuts that is. Even E5 is a pretty big jump because you get skill level plus two and then basic attack an extra level. So just the multipliers on her main damage source gets increased. I do think though that E4 is kind of the bare minimum needed to start using her as main DPS. It just increases her <laughs> raw damage output by so much. And um, once you get to E6, you do have a lot more space to manipulate your gotcha addiction pretty much because you're just re-rolling tiles. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I honestly I'm surprised with her performance because the first time I saw her being used was in those Memory of Chaos clears that CN whales were doing, getting zero turn clears and people saying, oh, you know, QQ's got S5 Jin Cone and that's the only reason you'll never be able to get close to this damage. And also, oh, she needs so much luck to be used. I don't think that's true. Um, there are, of course, some limits to those expectations. Like, you're not going to be zero turn clearing if you build your E6 QQ, but she's really strong if you look at her <laughs> from a normal, like, comparing her to, like, an easier Sele or an easier Jingwon. She's very competitive, I would say. I have both of them fully built as well, and she clears just as fast, if not faster. Of course, Everyone's experiences are different, but I wanted to let you know that if you want to play QQ because you find her fun, in the long run, when you get her E4, when you get her E6, she's very viable. So <laughs> that's something I wanted to make sure you understand. And on top of that, like, come on, how fun is <laughs> her gambling? Um, yeah, you can get screwed over sometimes. Honestly, I get screwed over more often than not, but it is so satisfying to play. And another thing is you're playing this mini game within the game and it actually kind of gets you thinking. You got to plan out, OK, am I going to use my skills or am I just going to throw out a tile? Am I going to use my burst first or am I going to try to get that four of a kind then burst then get enhanced basic? A lot of things to juggle and then timing buffs as well. I feel like this is what Star Rail is about. Just balancing those mechanics to optimize your damage. And that's what QQ does really well. I, like, unironically, even though she's a gotcha game inside a gotcha game. And I want to quickly correct myself. I don't mean she's not usable at all unless she's E4 or E6. It's just so much easier to use. Like, you can definitely clear Memory of Chaos 10 at E0 even, but um, it's just a quality of life thing. The E4 proc, even though it says 24% chance, it has a chance on every single time you use the skill. And there are times when you use the skill three to four times in a turn. So I like I would say about half the time you actually get, like half of her turns, you actually get the E4 to proc, which is a second enhanced basic, which it, when you think about it, it's just as nuts as it sounds. Okay, it's probably a little less than 50%, um, but it's more often than you think for 24%, if that makes sense. Like just from experience and running some numbers, I didn't go deep dive on it too hard because there are so many variables to consider with QQ that it's really not worth <laughs> bashing my head over. 
Um, but yeah, as you can see, she has no problem damage-wise uh, dealing with Memory of Chaos 10. You know, she might have a little difficulty surviving sometimes, but it is what it is. Um, once we get more gear as well, you'll see that we can start running less survivability and focus more on this throughput. I also think that QQ has a lot of room for future growth as well with more supports. Like, I don't think the supports in the game right now are that synergistic with her. Like, maybe we, if we get a skill point generator um, in the future or better supports that revolve around enhancing basic attacks. Branya's obviously insane right now. Tingyun is good because QQ has a 140 energy cost and helps battery her, but uh, honestly, um, I feel like I'm just running out of skill points when I use Branya and Tingyun together. And I, I guess E6 does solve that issue, but E6 can't be the solution for, <laughs> for making a character work um, optimally. Like, oh, I guess it can be, but you get what I'm trying to say. I also think that eventually there will be better light cones for her. Like, of course, Jing Yuan's light cone is insane, but it doesn't buff basic attacks directly as much as, like, maybe a dedicated one because it's more about follow-up attacks, which does help her E4. And her E4 is really addicting. You can see that buff at the bottom of her bar. It's like that purple spade looking thing same icon as her basic attack i think but yeah four turn clear for moc um pretty good stats i would say definitely still could work uh do a lot more work on her relics um but again <laughs> relic farming is such a pain still a few more levels on her skill talent and alt as well as this 8% attack, and I'll get her to level 80 soon. Just don't have the resources because this game is really difficult. <laughs> Using speed on her, um, I feel like I'm going to play around with attack percent and speed, but I feel like speed is the way to go. And E4, hoping to get her E5 and E6 from Loach's banner. And if you are pulling on that banner, good luck with your summons. And... I guess that's it. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.